I'm getting good frames right now. Everything seems to be relatively smooth, I should say. You have a problem with the 1900 that if I press nav, the plane flies in circles? Ooh. Do you have the updated B1900, the, the, the separate one for X-Plane 11? Or do you are you on X-Plane 10? The flight plan, the GPS, and the CDI is set to GPS. Oh, I don't know about circles. I know that there's a bug with... I was showing it earlier. If you're 40 degrees off, you need to hit this button. And you could try this. If you're on the X-Plane 11 version, you, you could try this where you hit this DG button right here, mode, hit DG, and that will that gets rid of one of the bugs that does the 40 degree. That may be the same problem you have. But if it flies in circles, then no, that's that's something else. But if you if you click that DG, that, that gets rid of that 40 degree bug. Only 8, gigabyte of RAM, 8 gigabytes of RAM. Yeah, so you could use 16. I don't think X-Plane will use more than 16, though. I'm getting crashed with the Pub Beta 8 after updating to Win 10 and changing views. Uh oh. Uh, update your NVIDIA driver. I'm assuming you have an NVIDIA card. I think you need to update your NVIDIA driver, but I, I'm just. That's a guess. Yes, that helped. Thanks. Oh, perfect. I wonder if I should do an approach here. So proc, select approach. Should we try like an RNAV approach? RNAV, RNAV 2-0 Yankee GPS approach. Vectors. Let's activate it. Activate. There we go. We're going to Sager, guys. We're going to Sager. And I'm going to go ahead and descend. Set altitude 3,000. Altitude 3,000 feet. So now my first officer is, is setting our altitude down to 3,000. And then we'll go into, I'll click on, I'll click on vertical speed right here. And I'll go down, we can go down at 800 feet per minute. We're gonna speed up. Make sure we don't hit this uh, the barber pole right here. I'm gonna cut my throttles a little bit in the descent. We actually can descend a little bit quicker, so I'll go down to 1,200 feet. Uh, what approach are we doing? Uh, you can do whatever approach you want to, but I'm doing the RNAV 2-0 right Yankee approach. Um, if we look at the foreflight, I'm not sure if this has LPV or not. So, Because if it does have LPV, then we might be able to pick that up. So if I go here to flight plan, and I go to edit, and I go to procedures, and I go to approach, RNAV uh, GPS... Oh, sorry, yeah, RNAV 20 right Yankee. R0 Yankee uh, via Sager. How come my plane's not going to Sager? Let's go direct to Sager. That's weird. How come it's not going direct Sager? Oh, maybe because I'm in heading mode? No? Set course to one one nine six. Why? Let's do flight plan procedures. Select. Oh, you guys can't see this. So I'm gonna reactivate this. 
two zero right Yankee. Oh, it's vectors. Oh, that's why. Okay. So we'll activate and we'll go. Uh, it should go direct Sager though if I do that. But it's not. I'm trying to go direct Sager, but it's not going direct Sager. All right, well, let's go into heading mode. Okay, heading mode for Sager. You're ahead of me now. It's approximately 125. I don't know why it's not going direct on the GPS. That's weird. I guess I shall, I guess you shall set direct. Yeah. TCAS doesn't like my tailgating. There you go. Um, I don't know why. By the way, this does have an LPV approach, but for some reason my plane's not going following the nav. That's really weird. If I go here, and I go direct, and I activate, it says the course. Is that right? DTK196. Huh. Maybe it just it's expecting vectors after Sager. Alright, we'll square this up a little bit. 120. That's fine. It's weird. Oh well. Try pressing the magic button. Yeah, I could do that actually. Let's press the magic button. Mode. And we'll go direct. Yeah, that actually could be it. I need to get down a little bit quicker. We're going to go down at 2,000. I'm supposed to be at Sager at 3,500. Dogs, how you doing? Good Saturday morning. I'm doing well. Hope you're well. Yeah, I guess that magic button worked that. I think it worked. That's it. That's bizarre, isn't it? <laughs> I pressed it once before, but I guess... I don't know. Now she works. Alright, I don't think I'm going to be able to get down in time. So I may do a vector. Because we're at 7,500 now. She's looking good outside, though. Look at go. There we go. Golf course. Oh, golf course. Oh, golf course. It's kind of dried out, though, but it's still, it's a golf course. Got to get ready with the. Uh... DMB Bird 44 gets. It's the other way around. There we go. <gasps> nice balance, DMB bird. There's all the, the golf course emotes coming out. All right, we're at 5,800 descending. Uh, we might be able to get there. Score. I think we need a little flyby. There's a jet, a jet, and a another 1900 around here. Pilot Edge is not quite open yet. Oh, the Eclipse is on a vector. I see that now. Hungover Pilot is on a vector. He's vectoring himself around, so that's good. Okay, we're in. Uh, we'll go into nav mode. There we go. Yep, we're gonna make it. Yeehaw! And after Sager, we want to be at Bonky. Well, we'll do, we'll do Lemon at uh, Lemon at twenty two hundred. So I'm gonna dial in twenty two hundred. Set altitude two thousand two hundred. Altitude two thousand two hundred feet. Ah, it's a little bit off. Huh. 
Let's see if she turns it bonky. She's turning it. She's a little bit off. I don't think she's going. She's. Ten seconds. Yeah. She's a little off. I'm a little low too. I'm a lot low. We'll set that to. Uh, we'll go a vertical speed. That's what I forgot to do is hit the altitude select, but we're okay. All right, let's hit the altitude select and have it stop at 3,000. A bonky at 2,900. All right, bonky at 2,900. That was a little too low, yep. Got my real-world traffic going. No frame hit. Loving it. Oh, good. I, I'm getting a little bit of frame hits, but I think it's because I'm loading too many planes. A little bit of power. Get back up. And I'm going to... Bonky at 29. Yeah, bonky at 29. And I'll bring back the power. It's leveling off at 2900. We'll hit approach. And we'll also get rid of the suspend. Go to OBS. I think this will descend us. After bonky, it should take us down if we pick up LPV. There we go. Yep, see, look, LPV right there, highlighted. So now it's just a matter of managing our speed. So I'm going to bring back my speed quite a bit. I can see the airport in sight up there. Pilot Edge opens up in seven minutes. We are on LPV approach. Cool. Other than that mistake where I went too low, pretty good situation here okay the plane is descending automatically via L um, LPV mode you're bombing it to make it number two there you go your reference to 16 gigabytes of RAM mentioned the XP site recommends shows 16 to 24 oh well then if it maybe it will take advantage of more okay there's 180 knots I believe we're on profile uh, we are 13 miles out still. Going to slow down even further. When we get about 8 miles out, I'll lower the gear. I'm really happy that the LPV is working. I'm going to change the time of day, though. Just a slight. Rather than put the sunglasses on, I change the time of day. <laughs> Because I have all powers. Okay. We are f 14 now. What? Oh, we're going. Oh. Okay, there's. There's some flaps. That's interesting. It, the runway, it's showing that it's getting further away. No, that's cumulative. Never mind. We're four miles out. All right, let's drop the gear. Another notch of flaps. Keep the speed up. LPV should continue to bring us down. And it is. We want to land at about 110 knots, I think. Or do I want to land, land at... Do I want to land at 100? I forget. Master Caution can come off. OK. 
Okay, cutting the power a little bit more. Full flaps. She's looking pretty good, pretty stable. A little oscillation, but... Okay, there's 100. 145? 145? You're kidding me. I never get away with less than 110. All right. Throttle then. Okay, autopilot coming off. We see the runway. We'll, d we'll pitch for speed. We'll ignore that master caution. Ah, it was a little bit much, but yeah. We had to get off the runway because we got company behind us. <laughs> that was a little too quick of an exit, but I want to see if the eclipse is coming in. Guess we can get rid of the autopilot here. Do you guys see an eclipse on final by any chance? Pilot Edge opens up in four minutes. Oh yeah, he's coming in. There he is. Let's back off a little bit here and see. Let's see how hungover does here. Let's see if he can touch down smoothly before the... We'll give him right there. Pressure's on. This is hungover pilot coming in the in the eclipse. Looking pretty good. Ooh. Oh, nicely done. Nicely done. And then that famous laminar taxi ground handling. That's not the pilot's fault. Oh, he's even exiting early. Look at that. Just in time. Nicely done. JT Kerr, are you around? Are you, are you, uh, are you landing? I'm gonna come over here and get out of the get out of the taxiway before the uh, PE opens up. Clean up our flaps, and we'll swing her around. Three minutes out. Okay, you might have to check in on Pilot Edge, huh? Parking brake is set. The Eclipse can fit wherever it wants to. Better tuned to to, to, to uh, John Wayne Tower. John Wayne Tower is on this side is 126.8. Okay. All right. So now we come up. You see, down here it says cancel ARM. What does it cancel ARM mean? Because I'm going to go up here to pilot uh, X economy and I'm going to open X economy. And I'm going to hit finish the flight. There we go. I wish that little plug in would let me finish the flight. But All right. JT Cure should be coming in in just a bit. Pilot Edge could be open up, opening up it right now, or they already are open. Yeah, it's 9.02, so maybe they already gave the air announcement.
Now you're five miles out. Just waiting for their announcement. Yep. Test all aircraft local time now zero eight hundred. All pilot edge control positions are now open. Class Alpha Bravo Charlie and Delta airspace procedures are in effect. All airborne aircraft operating IFR contact nearest approach center facility. All airborne aircraft within Class Bravo Charlie and Delta airspace contact nearest tower or approach facility. All aircraft on the ground operating in movement areas. Contact the relevant ground controller. We should Charlie hear. Tower Beach three one three Mike X ray. Six mile final runway two zero right. There you go. That's JT Kerr. Right through through Mike X ray, John Wayne Tower, uh, wind. Calm. I don't know why it does not work for you. For me, it always showed the option to finish the flight. Yeah, I've got just the cancel ARM, but what does ARM mean? Did he give you a clearance or did he cut off? Where is he? Do you guys see him out there? Where's the Kerman? I think he cleared you to land. Okay, I just didn't hear it. That is, what are you, what are you about to fly, Al? One and a half mile final. We should see him. He's in a he's in a nineteen hundred, but uh, it's going to show up as a Baron. There he is. There he is coming in. You're flying from SBQM Brazil in the nineteen hundred. Nice. Now I think the CSL because it's not a nineteen hundred. It's going to the landing's going to not give him due credit. May it may not look pristine but you're about to fly into a mountain thanks to clouds <laughs> uh oh gotta try to do some more cat ratings now thanks for the flight yeah hungover pilot that was awesome never had a landing with a live commentary on almost crumbled under the pressure i'm glad i'm glad you came along that was fun thanks for for joining me in the eclipse that was cool and you did a good job on the landing i don't land that eclipse all that well most of the time sometimes i get a, a nugget Mice Buster, uh, what scenery? Um, this is uh, um, GPB 500, John Wayne. This is what the tower sees for JT Kerr coming in. What are, what's your speed? What's your speed? Yeah, like I say, that's supposed to be a 1900, so he's... Oh, he's going to hit the numbers. For some reason, it's got him quite s slanted. And different scenery, maybe. <laughs> we won't blame we won't blame that on the pilot. We'll blame that on the CSL. Let's take a look at the uh, FS Economy logs. So we come over here and we go to Lima seventy one. We did uh, we did uh, income of five thousand seven eighty two. You froze. Uh oh, that sucks. Uh, five seven eight two rental. Uh, Thirty three minutes. Total cost four hundred and twelve. We actually paid that back to ourselves because we own the plane. Fuel was two hundred and eighty one dollars, additional crew fifty five, ground crew five seventy eight, booking fee of four oh four. Um total earnings this flight four thousand forty nine sixty. And then if we come up here to the bank balance and we're gonna go ahead and transfer cash, make it five thousand. We're at four sixty one two ninety four. Arrow Squirrel's got eight hundred and twenty five K in the bank. Good morning, Goldsy. Just flew your beautiful B nineteen hundred D that you gifted to me, Goldsy. I uh, uh 
I love that plane. 572 Golf. Good morning, sir. Goldsy, everyone, is in a Pilot Edge controller. And I'm thinking you might get clearance to stream. See that uh, I see that AJ did. You caught the tag scene in. There you go. Oh my! Oh, there we go. We'll do a replay now. So we'll disconnect from Pallet Edge. Disconnected. I just want to see what the landing looked like. It looked like it was a little, it was a so-so. But this was cool though that it, it did the uh, LPV. The LPV brought us all the way down, so I thought that was pretty cool. Thank you again for the fun. I hope to do this again. Yeah, yeah, that'd be yeah, JT Kerr, anytime, man. It'd be awesome. Pretty much just waiting for the official stream policy to come out now, which would should be very soon. Awesome. Gear coming down. Agent Aviation, what up? How you doing? Welcome, welcome. Morning, Steve. Steve ninety nine, how you doing? You did bounce, by the way. Yeah, it's this 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 plane can get. Up. I. I was gonna land it a lot slower than I should have, and I, I kept the speed up thanks to the uh, thanks to the Twitch chat. So that's good. I'm doing really well. I'm in a good mood. It's uh, 9:07 a.m. Too bad. Kept the speed up. Ah, a little harder than than some, but not as hard as others. Sounds like a, a an advertisement for certain pills. All right, let's look at this one. Such a hard plane to land. Yeah, I think in the real world it is as well. This is always the angle that really affects. I mean, you really see how good or bad your landing is on this right here with regard to this. Yeah, right there. Oh, that was hard. See, from that angle. And this is the, the, the this angle is the easiest uh, right here. The tower view. The tower view it makes it, you know, you look you look like a boss. <laughs> Yeah, I see from there it doesn't look too bad. <laughs> you got a two a negative two ten yesterday. I should probably put the landing rate plug in back in. Alright, let's look to see if there are jobs coming out of John Wayne. So um if I go to logs 